Hey guys, today we wanted to talk about how a calming collar can help your cat and how Momo and Kebby are doing since they got theirs. So in case you missed it, we talked about why they need to have the collars a couple of weeks ago. I'll link that video up above. The short story being that they ended up stressing a little because we are home all the time due to the lockdown. Which really broke down their, their, their normal routine, so which can cause stress in cats. So after consulting our vet and first having Momo put on a morphine dose, she recommended that we would rather get a calming collar for him. And see how he does on it and hope that that will basically take care of the if I see before the actual symptoms start, so to say, to avoid it actually flaring up. We decided to give Kebby a collar as well because she has this bit of an OCD where she licks the hair off her stomach. And uh, we had gotten the recommendation to use a collar for her at one point as well. Pilling cats can be quite stressful for them, so the calming collar takes that stress away as well because it's just something they wear every day so they get used to it and it makes it much easier to calm them down without having to actually physically medicate them. Right so the collar our vet um, gave us is called Nurture Calm and they're not a sponsor we're just mentioning that that's the one that was made available to us by the vet and it's basically a, a pheromone collar that will help with stress, anxiety, phobias, and it can also help for things like travel, thunderstorms, fireworks, or just general social interaction. So it can basically use the pheromones, just help the cats mellow down a little bit, and it can help in a variety of different aspects of their life. So we tried it for Kebby to see if it would help or calm her, her OCD behaviors, and for Momo, for the FIC. So one of the interesting things I noticed with Kebby is that she now eats a lot slower than before. Kebby used to have a little bit of bulimia as well. I mean, it's not actual bulimia, but it, it behaves a lot like it. And since getting the collar, she has slowed down, which is great because it avoids waste of the food. And it's definitely better for her digestive system as well. And uh, Momo seems to be doing quite well as well. The only thing that we notice is that both of their necks become quite itchy, so we do take them off regularly. And alternatively, we once or twice a day help them out with scratching around that area. So instead of them having to go there with their claws and not being able to get under the collar as well, we'll help them by giving them little neck rubs, which they seem to appreciate quite a lot. Otherwise, Momo is doing quite well. He is still experiencing every now and then some of the symptoms of the his FIC but it has calmed down quite a bit and it's not as severe and for Kebby we have noticed that the patches where she licks have regrown a little bit of fur it's not a solution that is overnight basically but we have seen some improvements so we're definitely going to continue with it and see how it goes over a period of maybe two to three months and then we can see if we're going to continue or if we need another option. Unfortunately the collars are also not exactly the cheapest so we might look into some alternatives later on. But for now the most important is to get at least Momo to a very uh, healthy stage and then we can always experiment with different options and if you guys have any recommendations or have dealt with anything like this you're more than welcome to pop us a comment so that we can try that out. Thanks for watching, please consider subscribing, we'd really appreciate it and yeah please leave us a comment and like the video. See you See guys you next, next time. time.